Mr. Assessment here. Let's put some points on a coordinate plane. So we have our grid here, and this grid is shown on a coordinate plane. We have our two axes or axes. We've got the x-axis here. We've got the y-axis running vertically. And the numbers on the axis show us exactly how far they are apart from each other so that we can plot these points. So uh, an important term to know, make sure you know the phrase ordered pair, and let's talk about what an ordered pair is. It's a set of two values, two numbers, that um, show up on the coordinate plane. And they um, take the letters X and Y, and those refer to uh, the axes right here. So we've got an X, we've got a Y, and those values are what get put in the parentheses or the brackets there. So let's take a look at an ordered pair, and first let's uh, let's take a look at one that's already on here. Point A is right here. You can see point A with the letter, referring to that orange dot right there. And let's uh, let's figure out what point it's at. We start at the origin, which is zero zero. It's zero zero, and we're gonna go over. We're gonna find the x value first, and the x goes this way. So we are gonna see starting at zero how far over we go to get to the spot where the A is. And we just go over that one spot, that's all we have to do. One spot right there, and that gets us to the A. But it doesn't get us all the way to the A, we have to go up now. And how many spots up are we going to be going? Well, from here, we'd be going up one, two, three, four. So we went over one with our X, and that gets put right here, and we went up, four. So A is at the spot one, four. That's how we could say that. All right. Let's find another one. Let's find point B. And then you take a look at B, see if you can already guess where that point might show up. I'm just going to mark this again right there. B, we start at the origin, zero. We go over two, and we just found our X value. And now how many spots do we have to go up? One, two, three is how far we go up. And so let's record that. B is at the spot two, three. Let's find one more, let's find C. Now C is all the way over here at five. It's five on which axis? The X axis. So it's gonna be five right here. And what Y value does C have? We go up one, two, three, four. So it's gonna have value of four right there. So let's uh, let's try another ordered pair. Let's put a star at the ordered pair seven, seven. Where would that be? Well, both values are gonna be seven, so let's start at the X, and I see seven is right here, and then I'm gonna go up by seven right there, and so let's stick a star right there at point seven, seven. Awesome, there we have it. Let's do one more. Let's do the point, let's show a zero in there. Let's show seven, zero. Where would that be? Seven, zero. Well, our X is seven, so how far do we go over? We don't at all, we stay here at, six, at, at uh, zero. So we're gonna stay here, but for our, um, oh, I'm, I'm wrong right there. Hopefully you caught that immediately. Let's see, oh, we're at seven, zero, and the first number here is the seven, and that's our x value. So we're actually gonna go over on the x-axis seven spots. It's great to have those mistakes and catch them because that's how we learn. So we're gonna go all the way over to seven right there. And how far up we go is this zero. We're gonna go up, not at all. This is going to be our spot. So we can stick our star right there at point seven, zero. So lots of practice, hopefully that was helpful for you. On to the problems.